In recent years, we are no longer unfamiliar with the trend emerging in China's developing space industry, mimicking SpaceX, the world's leader in commercial space exploration. Chinese rocket companies eager to replicate the successes and innovation of Elon SpaceX have started adopting similar technological concepts and design aesthetics. The latest we've learned is the company called Cosmo Leap, a new entrant into the Chinese space field. They've recently drawn attention with images reminiscent of SpaceX's ambitious Starship program. If you're someone who's only recently become acquainted with SpaceX and Starship, I'm quite sure you might get confused whenever you see these images. At first glance, they look pretty similar to the current operational system of Starship, even resembling some 100% of the renders released when the launch tower first got announced, with a vertical landing rocket catching mechanism and a pair of chopsticks designed to move vertically along the tower that look a lot like SpaceX's Mechazilla. This even prompted Elon Musk, who's been silent about the competitor's imitations, to exclaim, looks familiar. Moreover, their rocket also has similarities to the initial stage of Starship, a slender cylindrical shape with four grid fins. If you look closely, you can see an extended segment above the grid fins, which might even indicate hot staging. The main difference we can see here is that the rocket in the render appears quite small, possibly having only nine engines, a lot fewer than what SpaceX's Super Heavy has. It's yet to be seen whether this company's rocket renders will have lasting viability. But for a space company founded only in early 2024 and to produce renders equivalent to a dominant space empire like SpaceX, that demonstrates the enormous ambition not only of Cosmo Leap, but of China's entire aerospace industry. They don't simply aim to catch up with their rivals. They want to surpass the leading countries in the global space race. As Chinese companies strive to carve out their niche in space tech, they are increasingly looking towards SpaceX as the benchmark of innovation and commercial success. Chinese state-supported space companies will approach space strategies in their own way to enhance technological capabilities and achieve competitive balance in an industry traditionally dominated by the U.S. and Russia. Of course, Cosmo Leap is just one of many examples of Chinese companies emulating SpaceX's technological and innovations. Beyond Cosmo Leap, numerous Chinese firms are pursuing similar cutting-edge technologies. For instance, Land Space and Galactic Energy are developing Methalox engines, a type of propulsion system that SpaceX has popularized with its Raptor engines. Methalox engines, which use methane and liquid oxygen as propellants, are known for their efficiency and potential for reuse, making them a desirable choice for future space missions. In January 2024, Land Space conducted a hop test similar to SpaceX's Starhopper from 12 years back. This test is part of the development process for the Zhu K3 stainless steel rocket, first announced in November of last year. The company is aiming for the first flight of Zhu K3 in 2025. Zhu K3 will be similar to size to the Falcon 9 in terms of payload capacity, but a bit wider. They're replicating the stainless steel design of SpaceX's larger super heavy starship. The Zhu K3 VTV L1 test follows similar hop tests conducted by fellow Beijing-based launch startup iSpace in November and December of last year. The Zhu K3 VTV L1 is powered by an engine model that will be used for orbital flight as well as iSpace's tests. Chinese hop tests by Jiangsu-based Deep Blue Aerospace reached the kilometer level in 2022, and LinkSpace used smaller engines. Another private startup, Galactic Energy and state-owned spin-off CAS Space, have both held VTVL tests using jet-powered prototypes for their Palace 1 and Connecticut 2 kerosene liquid oxygen launchers. Reusable rocketry, another hallmark of SpaceX, has also caught the attention of Chinese space companies. Space pioneer OneSpace and Chase are actively working on developing reusable launch vehicles that can significantly reduce the cost of access to space. By emulating SpaceX's reusable Falcon 9 rockets, these companies aim to achieve similar cost efficiencies and operational flexibility. Notably, Space Pioneer with its Changlong rocket series. In April 2023, they successfully launched their first Changlong 2 rocket. Space Pioneer is the first Chinese commercial startup to achieve orbit using a liquid fuel launch vehicle. Changlong 2 is larger than SpaceX's Falcon 1, but has a much smaller payload capacity compared to the early Falcon 9. Therefore, they've developed a larger Changlong 3, which is compared to the Falcon 9. It's got a diameter of 3.8 meters and a takeoff mass of 570 tons. It's designed to be highly reliable and capable of launching many times a year. The rocket will incorporate dozens of new technologies to greatly improve cost performance. 
However, failure occurred during the static fire test of the rocket's nine-engine stage when it suddenly lost control, launched, and then exploded midair. This incident illustrates the potential consequences of merely copying without genuine development. Of course, we can't overlook the plans for the Long March 9 rocket developed by the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, or CALT, which includes the development of a fully reusable version inspired by Starship. China aims to conduct the first flight of the three-stage Long March rocket by 2033, powered by numerous full-flow stage combustion methane engines in the first stage and capable of carrying 50 tons to lunar transfer orbit, or 35 tons when the first stage is recovered. Next will be a two-stage variant capable of carrying 150 tons to LEO, or 100 tons when landing the first stage. A fully reusable variant capable of carrying 80 tons to LEO is the ultimate goal, expected to fly in the 2040s. Besides rockets, the push towards satellite constellations akin to Starlink is another area where Chinese companies are following suit. The Chinese government itself is spearheading efforts to develop its own satellite constellation network, which would enhance global connectivity and provide a strategic counterbalance to SpaceX's growing influence. They will launch the 13,000 satellite Huawei constellation, which is China's answer to SpaceX's Starlink satellites. Hua Wang replaced earlier plans for smaller LEO communications constellations named Hongyan and Hongyun. Hongyan and Hongyun were planned by China's main space contractor, CASC, and its sister defense giant, CASIC, respectively. In March 2022, Beijing-based Galaxy Space launched six stackable V-band satellites on a Long March 2C rocket. Hua Wang will launch on Long March rockets and any other rockets available from China's rocket startups. A new version of the Long March 5B will be able to send 25 metric tons of payload to LEO for launching large batches of satellites for constellations. Overall, we are currently witnessing the incredibly dynamic and rapid development of China's rocket and satellite launch market. Indeed, many people wonder how China could develop so quickly when it didn't have a footprint in the space race during the Cold War. It all comes down to the adjustments made by the Chinese government. In 2015, China made a pivotal decision to open its space industry to private enterprises, marking a shift in its approach to space exploration and commercialization. This move was aimed at fostering innovation, accelerating technological advancements, and boosting the country's presence in the global space industry. Since this policy changed, there has been a notable rise in the number of Chinese space companies, and these firms have quickly become active players in various domains of space technology, including launch vehicles, satellites, and space hardware. However, the term private company in the Chinese context often differs from its Western counterparts. Many of these so-called private enterprises are, in reality, either partially or fully state-owned. This means they benefit from substantial government support and funding, which can include direct financial investment, access to state-run facilities, and collaboration with their national space programs. This hybrid model of private and state ownership allows Chinese space companies to leverage significant resources and expertise, enabling rapid growth and development. The incentivization by the Chinese government has led to a flourishing space sector, with numerous companies emerging to purchase ambitious projects. Consequently, China is becoming a formidable competitor in the global space arena. They are aggressively pursuing a comprehensive copying strategy, challenging established giants at every turn. Should SpaceX be wary of this development? Of course not. I firmly believe that creativity and innovation are the foundations of long-term success for any organization. SpaceX exemplifies this philosophy. A company led by talented engineers continually pioneering new ideas in the aerospace industry is a formula for success and the key to sustained dominance. If China doesn't grasp this formula, it's going to take a very long time before they can catch up with SpaceX. And that's all for today's episode. Thanks for watching and see you next time.